kindergarten. It's Mrs. Griffith. Um, as we're heading into the end of the year, I'm going to share with you some stories that I always read to my kindergarten class and I haven't had a chance to read to you. So I'm just going to share some of those as we end the year together. Um, it's Spirit Week. It's Chalk Your Sidewalk Day. So um, I sent all my sidewalk chalk to my granddaughters, so I don't have any at my house to chalk my sidewalk. But if you have sidewalk chalk at your house, get it out and chalk a wonderful, uplifting message. Maybe something about OLL, Our Lady of the Lake Catholic School, on your sidewalk. Show your panther pride, okay? All right. Well, the story I'm gonna to read to you today is a funny story. It's pretty wonky. It's about a cat. And it is called The Wuggy Norple Story. The Wuggy Norple Story. Isn't that a funny, funny title? And it is written by Daniel M. Pinkwater. The illustrations are done by Tommy DePaula. Tommy DePaula is a very famous author and illustrator, and he just passed away recently, just went to heaven, and we lost an amazing author and illustrator of children's literature. Um, he's one of my favorites. So he did the pictures for this story, and here's the title page. The Wuggy Norple Story by Daniel M. Pinkwater, pictures by Tommy DePaula. It's kind of a long one, so get yourselves comfortable, kindergarten, and enjoy the story. In a little house, in a little village, not far away from Thunderbolt City, lived a whistle fixer named Lunchbox Louie. He had a wife named Bigfoot the Chipmunk, and a little son named King Waffle. Every day, Lunchbox Louie would kiss Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and walk to his shop in Thunderbolt City. Don't they have funny names? Lunchbox Louie and King Waffle? <laughs> this is a silly story, I can tell already. Bigfoot the chipmunk would wave goodbye to Lunchbox Louie until he was out of sight. Then she would sweep the floors, make the beds, and chop up onions for supper. King Waffle would sit in the backyard hitting a big rock with a little hammer. Some days, King Waffle would walk with his mother, Bigfoot the chipmunk, through the streets of the little village and out into the fields. Some days they would walk all the way to a little lake called Nosewort Pond. Bigfoot the chipmunk would bring some food in a basket and she and King Waffle would sit beside Nosewort Pond eating a picnic lunch and playing with the wild caterpillars that lived there. And Tommy DePaula has a very distinctive style of illustration. I bet you have seen other books that he has illustrated. When you see his pictures, you recognize him right away. In the evening, Lunchbox Louie would come home from Thunderbolt City. Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle would be waiting in the doorway when he came up the road. Lunchbox Louie would always bring something from the city for Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle. Sometimes he would bring a coconut. Sometimes he would bring a pair of eyeglasses made from candy. Once he brought a rubber turtle that danced on a string. Bigfoot the chipmunk would fry up the onions she had chopped that morning. After supper, the family would sit outside the house and Lunchbox Louie would play tunes on a whistle that he had made from a carrot. One evening, when Lunchbox Louie came back from Thunderbolt City, he had a special present for King Waffle. It was a little orange kitten. King Waffle 
named the kitten Wuggy Norfolk. Wuggy Norfolk. That is such a silly name for a kitten, isn't it? A little cute little kitten. The next morning when Lunchbox Louie had left for his shop in Thunderbolt City and Bigfoot the Chipmunk had waved goodbye until he was out of sight, after Bigfoot the Chipmunk had swept the floors and made the beds and chopped up the onions for supper, King Waffle sat in the sun in the backyard, hitting the big rock with the little hammer, and Wuggy Norple pounced on his feet and played with his toes. That's what my kittens are doing a lot of pouncing and playing these days. When Lunchbox Louie came home that night, he noticed something. He noticed that Wuggy Norple was bigger, was a bigger kitten than she had been the day before. She's as big as a bulldog, Lunchbox Louie said. She doesn't seem any bigger to me, Bigfoot the chipmunk said. Maybe you're still getting used to her. That's interesting, isn't it? The next day, when Lunchbox Louie was about to leave to walk to his shop in Thunderbolt City, just before he kissed Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle goodbye, he looked at the cat, Wuggy Norple. He thought Wuggy Norple was a bigger cat than she had been the night before. It seems to me that she is just a little bigger than a bulldog, Lunchbox Louie said. She seems, she seems the same size as before to me, Bigfoot the chipmunk said. Maybe you're not used to seeing her in the sunshine. Lunchbox Louie walked away from the little house slowly. He walked away from the little village slowly. He walked toward Thunderbolt City slowly. He was thinking about Wuggy Norple, the orange cat and how she seemed just a little bit bigger than a bulldog. So Tommy DePaula shows him thinking about it. He thinks this is very strange. Hmm, that would be strange. When Lunchbox Louie came home from Thunderbolt City that night, he had something under his arm. Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle could see it a long way off. It was something big and white. When Lunchbox Louie got closer, they could see that it was a bulldog. Lunchbox Louie put the bulldog down next to Wuggy Norple. This is Freckleface Chili Bean, Lunchbox Louie said. As you can see, Freckleface Chili Bean is a bulldog, and as you can see, Wuggy Norple is just a little bigger than he is. I hope you are satisfied. Oh my goodness, she does look just a little bit bigger, doesn't she? I think Freckleface Chili Bean is a little bit bigger than Wuggy Norple, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. They look about the same size to me, said King Waffle. Wuggy Norple growled at Freckleface Chili Bean, and Freckleface Chili Bean ran and hid under the sofa. <laughs> the next morning, when Lunchbox Louie was about to leave for his shop in Thunderbolt City, he said, Wuggy Norple has grown during the night. Now anybody can see that she is bigger than Freckleface Chili Bean. In fact, she's almost as big as a six-year-old Razorback Hog. It does seem to me that Wuggy Norple is a tiny bit bigger than Freckleface Chili Bean, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. But she is nowhere near as big as a six-year-old Razorback hog, said King Waffle. My gosh, look how big she is now. She's 
denting the table there. Lunchbox Louie walked away from his little house slowly. He was thinking about Wuggy Norple, about how she was almost as big as a six-year-old razorback hog. During the day, Wuggy Norple made friends with Freckled-Faced Chili Bean, and they chased each other around the big rock while King Waffle sat hitting it with his little hammer. That night, when Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and Wuggy Norple and Freckled Face Chili Bean went to the door to wait for Lunchbox Louie to arrive home from Thunderbolt City, they could see that he was carrying something very heavy. He was walking slowly and stopping to rest every few steps. When he got closer, they saw that he was carrying a big hog. This is Paper Cup Mix Master, Lunch Lunchbox Louie said. As you can see, Paper Cup Mix Master is a six-year-old Razorback hog. And as you can see, Wuggy Norple is almost as big as he is. Oh, Wuggy Norple isn't that big, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. Wuggy Norple isn't even half as big, said King Waffle. Do you think he's as big? Ooh. The next morning, Lunchbox Louie said, Look, Wuggy Norple is bigger than Paper Cup Mix Master. Well, almost as big, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. Maybe a tiny little bit bigger, King Waffle said. Bigger, Lunchbox Louie shouted. Bigger, bigger, bigger. She's as big as a young horse. Lunchbox Louie walked away slowly from the little house. <laughs> oh my goodness. During the day, King Waffle helped his mother, Bigfoot the Chipmunk, build a pen for Paper Cup Mix Master. That night, when Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and Wuggy Norple and Freckle Face Chili Bean and Paper Cup Mix Master went to the door to wait for Lunchbox Louie to come home from Thunderbolt City, they saw that he was carrying something very big and very heavy. This is Exploding Pop-Tart, Lunchbox Louie said. As you can see, Exploding Pop-Tart is a young horse. And as you can see, Wuggy Norple is every bit as big as Exploding Pop-Tart. I hope you are satisfied. Nonsense, said Bigfoot the Chipmunk. A cat can't be as big as a young horse. Wuggy Norple isn't anywhere near as big as Exploding Pop-Tart, said King Waffle. Do you think she is? Look at her. The next mor morning, Lunchbox Louie said, As I live and breathe, Wuggy Norple has gotten even bigger. She's even bigger than Exploding Pop-Tart. Not at all, said Bigfoot the Chipmunk. Not at all, said King Waffle. Not at all, shouted Lunchbox Louie. She's as big as an elephant. You'll see. During the day, King Waffle rode exploding Pop-Tart around the backyard. Paper Cup Mix Master snuffled and grunted in his pen, and Freckle-Faced Chili Bean and Wuggy Norple chased each other around the house. In the evening, when Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and Wuggy Norple and Freckle-Faced Chili Bean and Paper Cup Mix Master and exploding Pop-Tart went to the door to wait for Lunchbox Louie, they saw he was carrying something very, very big and gray. Mm. 
This is Laughing Gas Alligator, said Lunchbox Louie, who was all out of breath. As you can see, Laughing Gas Alligator is an Indian elephant. And as you can see, Wuggy Norple, the cat, is just exactly the same size as the elephant. You know, actually, they do seem to be about the same size, said Bigfoot the chipmunk. They are exactly the same size, said King Waffle. Well, finally, said Lunchbox Louie. Hmm. The next day was Saturday and Lunchbox Louie didn't have to go to work. So he took Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and Wuggy Norple and Freckle Face Chili Bean and Paper Cup Mix Master and Exploding Pop-Tart and Laughing Gas Alligator and a big basket of lunch. And they all went to Nose Wart Pond for a picnic. The end. <laughs> Isn't that a fun story? It's the Wuggy Norple story, and it's always been a favorite in kindergarten. I hope you enjoyed it very much. Um, parents, if you are watching this video, just to let you know, there's an important um, survey that your children will be taking. And I've written a little note about it in my daily teaching notes, and it will be an assignment in Google Classroom, and you'll see it there. Okay? Bye, everybody. Have a great day.